Okay, let's take a look at hardware and software. What is hardware? Easy to define. Anything you can reach out and touch. Any tangible part of a computer system that you can physically touch, in some cases you can pick up and carry off. Now, hardware may contain other stuff. Even though hardware is the stuff you can touch, think about a hard disk drive. You can reach into a system, undo the screws, unplug it from power and from data, and pull out the hard drive and carry it away. Even though the hard drive is purely hardware, the stuff that is on the hard drive, in other words, the magnetic image of the data on the hard drive may be data or software. So hardware may contain other components, but the stuff you can touch is the hardware. Software is specially structured group of machine instructions or source code that accomplishes a task when executed. Okay, basically software is any set of instructions. Software can exist in executable code. It can exist in source code, which is the text readable code that you would program in, say in C, C Sharp, COBOL, lots of other 4GLs, other different types of languages all start as source code. There's also an intermediate type of software called an opcode or pre-compiled code perhaps. That type of code may require software to actually run it. Many popular types of environments take source code, they compile into an intermediate type of code, and then at runtime there's a program that will run the op code. In that case you don't compile down to an actual executable, you have multiple programs working together to run the instructions. But software is any group of instructions that infer or eventually result in the machine instructions being executed one at a time. Now there is an intermediate type of wear out there called firmware. Whenever we take software, which again is machine instructions, and we burn it onto a ROM or a PROM of some sort, that package is typically referred to as firmware because it's kind of software, it's kind of hardware, it's kind of in the middle. That's where firmware comes from.